OK, I'm going to teach you how to use this application on scienceanimations.com that helps you put together pneumatic circuits. So once you get into the application, you have uh, actuators on the right and valves on the right. And you have a pretty good assortment of valves here, uh, manual operated valves and pilot operated valves. And we have a couple of actuators here, a double acting cylinder, a double acting cylinder, and a single acting cylinder. And to get started we can just grab anything we want and drag it off into the screen. So I'm going to start off with an actuator here. Let's get a single acting cylinder, pull that over, and let's go ahead and get a two position three-way valve that's going to help us show some interesting concepts right from the start. So I've dug those on the screen. Our supply of air is down here at the bottom. And to get started, we just need to hook up what they call tubes. So here at the top, you can reset your drawing. That take, gets rid of the, everything on the screen here. You can delete a tube if you have a tube on the screen. I'll show you how that works in a minute. You can draw a tube, or you can drag an item. So if you start dragging an item, you just can put a hand on it and move it around. Uh, once you get everything set up, you can activate by hitting this green area here. And of course, you have help right here. I wouldn't recommend using the help. It's a little clunky right now. So let's get started drawing some tubes. So we're going to put a tube here and hook this up here so that we have a supply of air to the actuator before we press this uh, manual operated valve. I'm going to put another tube here from here to the air supply. And one last thing we need to add for this to work is a vent. So you've got to hit drag items, grab an, an exhaust here, and put that in place. It won't work without an exhaust hooked up. So the exhaust actually has to be added. It doesn't work automatically like a real valve would. Uh, most real valves will just exhaust anyway. So now that we've got everything in place, if we want to test it, we just hit activate. And right off the bat, our single acting cylinder extends because it has air. And if we want to make it retract, we just press our manually operated directional control valve and the air in the cylinder exhausts and it retracts back in. So for starters I just wanted to show you how this stuff works and if you want to play with this uh, there's a couple of things you have to be careful of. Uh, first let's get rid of a tube here. I'll delete this tube and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I draw another tube here and I try to draw the tube to the wrong place to a place that doesn't make any sense then the system won't let you do it. It just won't let that tube um, pull down to this other point. Um, but if I hook it to a place where it makes sense, then it'll let me do it. So that's one thing you got to be careful of. And also, if you find your circuit doesn't work, as I said before, you have to have an exhaust valve in the right place for this to work. So be careful of that, too. So I hope you have fun using this, and I hope it helps you learn a lot about pneumatics.